breaking details about the shooting at YouTube's headquarters. Here's what we know this morning. Police have identified the suspect as Nassim Agdam, a woman who lived in California and frequently used YouTube. Her family says she was angry at the company. She killed herself after opening fire on three employees, one of them now in critical condition. ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gutman is at YouTube headquarters with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. You can imagine those terrified employees here at YouTube just pouring down that staircase behind me, seeking shelter in the restaurants just across the street. Now, you mentioned this. This is a fast-moving investigation, but overnight, we learned that that 39-year-old drove up here from Southern California, Nassim Agdam, bearing a vendetta against YouTube and that 9-millimeter gun. Now, incredibly, her parents had listed her as missing, and the night before the shooting, officers in nearby Mountain View, California, found her sleeping in her car. They alerted her family. Now, their family says that they tried to alert authorities about her, but by then it was too late. Law enforcement officials say this is the woman, 38-year-old Nassim Agdam, who stormed into an employee patio at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California, shooting three employees before turning the gun on herself. It was one after another. Boom, 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 boom. Her family says the prolific YouTube user, my name is Nassim Saps, hated the company, claiming it was censoring her content and not paying her for the videos she posted on the platform. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. She had a YouTube Nothing channel sensual. which boasted ab workout videos because and many of them in Farsi. <laughs> Her brother says her family reported her missing over the weekend and claims they told police about her deep-seated resentment towards YouTube. And she had a problem with uh, YouTube, so we called that cop again and told him that she might, there's a reason she went all the way from San Diego to that. Active shooter at 901 Sherry. The first call for help came in at 1246 local time. This is crazy, we're on lockdown. Two minutes later, first responders arrived. This officer bursting out of his vehicle with that long gun, a YouTube employee right there on the staircase using his key to let the officer into the complex. That was very chaotic, as you can imagine. Police moving forward, finding hundreds of YouTube employees, their hands raised, searching each of them. The wounded scrambling out of the YouTube complex, some of them still bleeding. Inside the car was Junior in San Bruno, medical aid. Good Samaritans stanching the wounds with napkins from nearby restaurants. We really didn't. We just kind yeah. of acted out of instinct and uh, tried to do what we can to help, you know, just kind of stop the bleeding and wait for paramedics to come and, you know, just try to do what anybody else would do. YouTube CEO issuing a statement on Twitter writing, there are no words to describe how horrible it was to have an active shooter at YouTube today. Our deepest gratitude to law enforcement and first responders for their rapid response. Today, it feels like the entire uh, community of YouTube and, and all of the employees uh, uh, were victims of this crime. And George, three of Nassim Agdam's victims remain in the hospital, two of them in serious to critical condition. Now, immediately after this shooting, it triggered a rash of conspiracy theories and hoaxes, rumors online. And what's unusual about this event is that social media companies jumped on it immediately, quashing them. Twitter actually deleting certain uh, posts, actually writing us that it takes this approach during situations where misnaming someone online could put those individuals in harm's way. So it says it had to act. George. Yeah, unfortunately, they've had to learn how to act. Okay, Matt, thanks very much.